we could start here. Anyways, uh, there is nothing here, is there? <laughs> I haven't even built a base. Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky. We are here on our stormy marsh planet. And there are several things I want to be doing today. Uh, one of them is getting this. Getting this condensed carbon is uh, definitely recommended. But I do have some local things to do before we head off. Base archives, of course. This is available right now, so okay. Let's go. Archive for user iteration. Lost, uh, unavailable. Defragmentation continues. No relevant entries found. Data scraps available for synthesis. Collect data scraps. Archive defragmentation continues. Data scraps synthesized to create salvage data. Okay. Salvaged data. Well, that's interesting. Isn't it? Huh. I didn't expect to get that. Okay. That works. Uh, so yeah, uh, I do plan on getting some salvage technology as well as drop pods today, but first of all, you know what? There is something I need to build. And I think... I think I'll build it down here. Get rid of you. I don't know. I don't need you around. Okay. Wait. I hear it. But I don't see it. Uh. Where is it? Oh, right there. Okay. Get rid of you. Alright, so the thing I want to build. Uh, let me see... Oh, right, I don't even have the, uh... I need to learn it first. Okay, never mind about that, but, um... What we're gonna be doing... Well, I should mention, last time I was, uh, just looking around at some starships. And, of course, I didn't buy any. That's, um, that's fine. I'm just gonna keep looking, occasionally, to find decent starships, or, yeah, starships. I will focus on getting, of course, S-Class. Now, there are some things that I am low on right now. We look in here, my cargo. We are so low on ferrite dust. If I'm going to be building more bases, I need to gather a lot of it. I also buy a lot of it. I think we're gonna have to deal with that. But also, you know what I didn't do? I didn't install the matter beam. <laughs> Oops. I guess that's uh, something we're gonna have to do right now. So let's head back up to the freighter and install that, because it's going to be very useful for me. And I believe I have enough. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, let me see. Eight, yes. That should be enough. Got it all. Okay, perfect. Alright, so now I should be able to transfer anything up to my freighter from anywhere. That is very, very useful. Alright. Uh, another thing I am lacking is tritium. What? was that sound? <laughs> I'm guessing it's, uh, uh, something needs fixing on the, on the bay doors. Uh, 
the hangar deck doors they need to be fixed all right so what is the next thing we need to focus on in uh, the upgrades here so we got that uh, this is an interstellar scanner which would be nice to have but I've got one salvage frigate module at the moment which I could use uh, we got expansion rooms, got reinforced windows. Now this, hmm. Glass corridors too would be nice. And all of these. So industrial room, stellar extractor room might also be useful. Because I can, uh, you know, gather various gases depending on the system we're in. That is useful. Okay, um, nanites are used for these. Uh, so the fuel oxidizer. This will get us temporary frigate upgrades. All right. I mean, I guess that that's something. But I think one thing we need to focus on is these. This will get us to red, green, and blue stellar bodies because I don't want to keep having to use my starship only for those. Uh, yeah, and these will help to increase hyperdrive distance. All right, so and that's going to be extremely important in the future. Now, the thing we want to do is well, actually. Do I want to? I think I want to. Okay. The thing that I wanted to do is to build the exomech. And where the oh, it's hiding. So we need to go to the uh, uh, what do you call it? Space anomaly. Whoa! Okay then. Since we're right by the uh, space station, we can also visit there if I need to. Okay, here we go. Let's get in there, get that exomech bay. So I would like to start testing that out since I can uh, summon. summon any of my exocraft from the freighter, you know, since I've got that installed. Jesus, in a cave. Uh, hello, nice name. Let's see, what kind of ships do we have today? I'm always interested in looking at the ships, just so I can see what kind of styles I like. I've got... Oh, what do you know? No, one of the most basic ones. Hey, someone has a, sh a shovel. That's not bad. Red? You know, I kind of like that. I have so many green ships right now. Oh, I like this one. Oh, and there's... The living ship. Yeah, I kind of like this one here. There's a fighter. That seems to be a fairly standard looking fighter. That one's nice. And this one. This is an interesting... That's an interesting pet an interesting shuttle, but, um, yeah. I will get a shuttle eventually. Well, let's get inside and let's get that exomech. And actually, have I claimed the rewards? Well, I only actually... I only achieved those ones in the last, uh, Expedition. But they're free. So we got them. 
So let's get to the base. Oh. Wait a minute. I just realized I don't have... I can't. What am I doing? Ah, whatever. Okay, well, let's go to the uh, Exocraft guy anyways. Let's see if there are any upgrades I can get. So the Minotaur. I'm talking about Minotaur, not Exomech. Um, yeah. The, the thing is... Eh, I need to learn to build it first. So, Osmotic Driver. Um, you know what? I should get these. Simply because I have started using... The Nautilon. And one more. There we go. Since I am using the Nautilon, I may as well. Alright. Well, let's get back. Whoa. This way. Actually, I'm curious what uh, we've got over here. There we go, the Nexus. And ion battery, ion battery, circuit board, circuit board. Meh. Not the most exciting rewards. I know, Quicksilver, but um, the main thing is I want to see if there are any kinds of uh, forget module rewards. That would be great. Whoa, a lot of people coming in. Alright. Let's see how much fuel we got in the hyperdrive. None at all. Well then, let's use this. That's easy to build, which is great. And I figured what we're going to do is... Uh, yeah. We're going to head on over to the original system. So, I believe that was Campty. Yes. This is where I started. It's not just visited. This is the home system. All right. There we are. We've got the empty planet, which... Uh, not where I'm planning on going. Let's remember what we've got here. So we got, uh, uh, yes, thank you. I've learned another, another glyph. Okay. So that was the Gamma Intensive Planet, Nojuk. Over here, there's a space station. We got two over here. That's where the fool's honey is, and we got an in four high temperature planet. That one is where I started. And my first base here on Cicel. So this is a supercritical planet. And of course, we got this, and right behind it is. Wait a minute. What's behind it? Can't remember. Let's check. Ah, uh, there it is. And that was the abandoned planet. Right. Mere menu. Ah. Oh, ancient bones. Okay, so that was the planet where we got ancient bones the first time. Right. I think what I want to do is not that one. No junk. Let me check something here. Not catalog discoveries. So we're in here. Now, no junk. What did this have? What kind of fauna?
Okay, so that's not what I was thinking. And in four, this was our first. Yes, I remember this guy. Okay. Been a while, hasn't it? But it's high. high sentinel activity. Nusk Miner. Mir Menu. This one was the uh, desert world. You know what? I'm thinking of going there. Signalsk. Togam. Okay. Let's. let's give that one a try. Fool's honey. I'm thinking, while we're there, we're gonna call in the freighter, because I want to get the Nomad down. And we're gonna do a lot of resource hunting. I'm not going to be redoing this base yet. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think this is where I'm planning on having pyrite. Yes, fool's honey, fool's gold, pyrite. Pyrite is excellent for starship fuel, so I want that. And this is going to be my main starship fuel base here. So we're going to try to find three things. Ferrite dust, I guess ferrite dust and ferrite. Some tech and drop pods. Doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime, I don't care. Let's just take a quick look at the base. And you know. We could start here. Anyways, uh, there is nothing here, is there? <laughs> I haven't even built a base. Oh, wow. I, I call this fool's honey because of these, these things here. Oh, look at that. Look at that dihydrogen. I can't remember if we have any uh, sentinels here. Let me check. Sentinel activity is none. Right. Buried cache. So we do want to grab. It's right there. Buried technology. So I will grab that. Uh, let's call in the freighter. Go. And we're going to call in. Uh, yes, you. Wow. That was interesting. But yeah, there's, there are a few things that I need to get for this. So we can get some more speed, huh? Terrain manipulator, here we go. I may be able to get the uh, Exomech after all. Salvage data is four. How is oxygen? So we've got actually quite a lot. What we're low on, since we're here, we could get pyrite. And sodium's doing okay. Carbon. Carbon is another thing we need a lot of. So, I think while we're here, we're going to gather carbon, ferrite dust, and pure ferrite. And while we're at it, we're also going to have to do a bit of scanning of minerals. Okay, let's gather all this. Oh, yeah. Even though I just said I don't really need a lot of oxygen.
like today we're just gonna be wandering. Oh, hello. You know, I've, I'm seeing these guys land. But I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing the, the pilots at all lately. Has anyone been having that issue here? That is very strange. It's an A-class, too. Huh. Interesting. Let's get you. Oh, that's oxygen, too. So... Are you just invisible? Or something? Weird. Okay. Well, it doesn't really matter. They usually have crap for trades, so... I'm not concerned. Just gather this. And again, I should be doing some scanning of minerals. Oh, I've got another one over there. 258 units, and that is good. Any minerals at all? I got one. You are... Alright, Dustin Pyrite. That works. That is, in fact, something I need. Pyrite would be great. More, huh? Okay, I'm liking this. You, uh, if you give me carbon, that's, that's wonderful. Carbon, yep. Again, I, I just need to gather a lot of this. This is probably a rather destructive... Oh, it's just carbon. A rather destructive uh, video today. I'm just destroying plants and rocks. This is pyrite too. Sodium. I'm doing okay with sodium though. Now those honey rocks. You know what? Oh, hold on. And as a protection. You, I just want to check something with, with the honey ones. It's carbon. Parasitic root structure. Now, these are plants. Oh, there's these are different. Huh. Wait. I have scanned you. You. How much carbon can I get from you? Hmm. Sticky honey. Oh! Actually, did get honey. Let's see what you got. Carbon and what? Sulfurine? Okay, so where is where'd it go? Uh oh, it's over there. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, that's the land. I uh, do a little bit of searching for drop pods as well. Uh, nope, that's not what I want. Nope, I want you. Alright, let's scan. Drop 
pods. Here we go. Drop pod detected. Where? Where? That way. Come on. 313? I guess we can head in this direction. And, uh... Hold on. While I'm at it, shoot at some stuff. Oh, I got sticky honey. I do have this. Um, except where am I getting these things? Oh, it's in here. Hmm. Honestly, I want, I want this to be in my. Uh, star bulb in here. Okay. I'd prefer this to be in my exosuit. Alright. Three minutes. We can do it. Although, I wish that as you drove over these and broke these, you'd actually collect the resources. I guess you don't. So I'm just trying. I'm just thinking if your if your exocraft is full, the inventory is full. Does this just go straight to your regular inventory? Oh, it's getting dark. Glitching, uh, what was it? Glitching separator, right. Oops. Yeah, it says inventory is full, so I'm unable to get, uh, collect it through that method. Oh, well. Eh. Yeah, let's just keep going. Fuel, sure. Although, I'd like to get a picture of us going through this, uh, landscape here. Simply because... I need a picture, right? Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, how far? Two minutes. It'd be nice if I could find some kind of structure. That's something, you know, sometimes when I'm on a, a world, I'm not finding anything. Work to here, you go here, you go here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get out to gather these things. Oof. Landscape here is actually not too bad. Some ups and downs. Let's see what the view is like from up here. Oh, this is interesting uh, rock formation. Okay, so we need. I'll oh, use oxygen. Look at that world. Actually, something I'd like to do here. There we go. Actually, that's fairly good size. Interesting. Okay, I would like a bit of... Mm. It's hard to get a really good angle when you're standing like this, right?
There we go. I think that's good. Go down, up a little bit. Just me looking at the landscape. Okay. And back to you. One of the issues I have with, uh, oh, actually the X, uh, Nomad is faster than me. That's good. An issue I have with, uh, third person point of view is, I don't know, it just feels clunky to me. The only way that I like third person is with the Exocraft. Because with Exocraft, it's it's easier to look around, I find. Because if you're a first person, you're looking at looking from the inside. Can still no buildings. Well, we're almost there. Region 21 seconds. I think from there we're gonna do a bit of ferrite dust hunting. And here it is. I am glad to be on a world that is safe. No dangers here. And I gotta remember what I need here. Sodium, sodium nitrate, carbon nanotubes, and antimatter housing, which is easy enough to make. So let's get that. Of course, he uses ferrite dust, which I've already gathered some. Okay, so go into here. Grab that upgrade. This is interesting. Cobalt? It is. This is like a cave, but outside. The plant life I have not scanned before. That's not a that's not plant life at all. In any case, I see something over there. 358 units away. I think we'll go over there on foot. Unless there's one closer. I don't see anything. Okay, well, we'll go that way. And while we're at it, the mining beam out and shoot a few things. Oh. Who are you? Well, that's an unid unidentified plant. Hmm. Everything. We need everything. I want to see... Where are we? 736. It's ferrite dust that we need the most of, so I need to find... A lot of these rocks. Extremely important. And you too. I should scan those. Because it is a plant. Right? Two hundred forty-nine units away. Uh, that's not what I meant. Let's see if I can scan that hazardous flora here. All right. Age is millennia. Wow. Sure, I'll just grab everything around here. Wow, there's a lot in front of it. Unidentified, unidentified mineral. Hmm. 
I'm glad we can actually get a decent amount of units. Ahoy team. Muroskite. That looks fast. Oh, hello. Another unidentified plant. Finding a few of these. I'm actually thinking this. Oh. Okay then. Let's uh, recharge you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hold on. Ah, hello there. Hmm. Let me check something here. Location service unavailable. No nearby hotspot. I've got a mineral hotspot off in that direction. It's pyrite that I want. Geode, thank you. That's good. Okay. Fecium. Which I don't have any of on me right now. Okay. Ferrite dust. I think uh, one thing I want to do is... Oh, I got Fecium from these. I think one thing I want to do is visit the space station. See if there's any... Uh, Anything that I need. Tritium is important. I may actually stay in this system for a bit and work on. No. Yeah, I don't need to scan it. Stay in this system for a little bit. Oh, it's right here. And this could be the next base that I work on. But the important thing is finding a location with both a power and a pyrite hotspot. It's going to take some time. And really, the only reason I like this world is because of those honey plants. But Hey, I can get food from those, right? Okay, so let's see. Can we find another... There we go. 224 units away. I like this world too because we've got butterflies. Butterflies are nice. Oh, unidentified plant. Hello. Where are you? Or mineral. You got pyrite. <laughs> Just scan it and then destroy it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Unknown building off in that direction. Get out. I do want to check that out. It's right here. Okay. I haven't seen a building in this system or in on this world so we'll head off in that direction just to see what we've got let's get some sodium sodium and projectile ammunition we will take this of course what do we get more projectile ammunition. Nothing. A lot of projectile ammunition. Dense carbon is nice too. Okay. I already checked you. Alright, so we got this building. What could this be? If it's a drop pod, <laughs> I'll laugh. Okay. 
Let's get you over here and let's drive there. Be a bit faster. Maybe. Our dog's platform. Oh, just shelters. Hmm, I guess. Now, one thing I like doing is this. Just exploring, wandering around. So I might discover something interesting. Increase standing with the Gek. Sure, I'll take that. And a couple things in here. Nanites and... Whopping, uh, 527 units. Yep, yep. Definitely huge profits. Grab the goop. And what do we got? Nanites. Save a chart. data. I should refine that ferrite, uh, rusted metal as well. The hydrogen jelly, that's good. Okay. So I've got, what do I have in here? Okay, let's do this. Oh, it's not lighting me. Oh. Huh. Interesting, it's not letting me do that. Let's do this. Get the ferrite. Ah, rusted metal. Okay, we'll do that. What the heck was that? Odd. Very odd. Oh, look at that. Look at that view. <laughs> There's the smoke. So what happens if we put the sun over here? Oh yeah. Look at that. Go up here. Ooh. Oh, well, that's interesting. Having this fly there, yep. Little desert mountain. Okay, so what do we got around here? Do we have very technology? Yes. 51 units, 314. Hmm. Oh, there's one right here. Right by our friend. Alright. Now, I don't know if you recall, but there was a planet that I went to. It's a very highly radioactive planet with a lot of really large mountains. And there was a big proto get that had these uh, wings. I want to go back there. Let me see. I want to get one of those as a pet. I think those are neat animals. I would love to have one. Okay, so let's see. Oh! That sound was very sudden. Oh, I'm out of power. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that's a good amount of ferrite dust. Hold on, I should be gathering... Uh, ...from those uh, boxes. I really should be. Okay, this 
this is going to be extremely useful for freighter or frigates. Frigates, actually. Still need tritium. All right, I think. Wait a minute. Is it done? There it is. Oh, I like this. See how much we got? 886. Yeah, that is just not enough. But what's this? Yeah. Guess what we can get? More. And more dihydrogen. Jelly, that is. All right. I think we're making some decent progress here. This was a necessary thing. Oh, there's another one. Oh, wait. I was just there. <laughs> yeah. We're making decent progress. And what... I know, it's, it's, it's a rather grindy video, but it's necessary, right? You need to be able to gather these things. And we, oh, we haven't identified you. Hmm. PCM. Poop plants. Or poop cacti. Hmm? I'll take it anyways. Alright. Well, I think what we should do is uh, call in the starship. I'm going to need that thing. Because I do want to visit the space station briefly before I come back to this world. All right. Well, let's let's call it over here. It is a nice ship. Definitely. All right. So, I think we're going to stop here. Next time we will definitely see if we can find a good location for a base here where I have it already not the best because there, there are no hot spots nearby so that's one thing I need to search for all right so I'd like to thank you for joining me on this great adventure check out the playlist on the right in case you missed any episodes Could consider subscribing if you like what you see we'll see you next time bye bye